So hi guys, thanks so much for finding my channel and watching this video. This is my constantly repurchased items. It's not just favourites that I've liked this month or even things that I've just been using for many months but haven't actually got around to repurchasing it because I haven't got to the bottom of it. I have quite a lot of those products. I know I will repurchase them but they're not right for this video. These are products that are my holy grails that I have repurchased more than twice so I'm on my third item of it or more okay um i thought that's sort of like a real true test to the ultimate favorite and i wanted to share these things with you to start off with a bit of skincare and i absolutely love this range in boots called your good skin this is the day cream and this is the night cream that i use all the time okay this has got spf 30 in it and it's antioxidant so it's really good for your skin it's good as a defense barrier from the environment so it's good for day cream and the spf 30 is i think a fantastic all year round spf to get used to applying with your moisturizer and this is the pro vitamin overnight cream again i'm almost out of this one i'm actually taking the bottom off and getting the last few dregs out of this pot um but yeah, it's, it's just a lovely product. I know that if I apply it at night, my skin's not gonna to react to it in any way. And in the morning, my skin will look fresh, relaxed, hydrated, and just smooth and soft. And that's what I look for in a product. These are what they look like in their boxes on the shelf, because I have my next supply already lined up. So like I say, easily a third purchase of both of those. Along with that, I really like this simple hydrating booster. I tend to reach for it more in the summer, but I definitely first purchased this a good 18 months ago, and I know this is my third tube. It's almost full, I've just gone into it, but I like to actually add it to my day cream sometimes and to my night cream sometimes if I feel I need a little bit more hydration. And that's why I think I like to incorporate it in my summer routine a little bit more so i'm sort of using it again now and i'm going to be taking that on holiday because it's going to be warm and i think i'll need a bit more hydration so that's really lovely and extremely budget friendly this is a fantastic serum from even and it's their intense i think yeah their intense hydrating serum this is my second or maybe third bottle um i love it i reach for it most days i do like i've got lots of serums i will point out here i use lots of other products as well because i i like products i like to use new things try new things and then i fall in love with those but these are my sort of ride or die i'll like and enjoy switching it up but then i'll resort back to this one um at the moment i would say because the weather's warming up my skin doesn't necessarily like wearing a separate SPF cream, so sometimes I get a little bit of reaction. So if I just want to keep things simple, this is the one I reach for. If my skin's feeling a little bit sensitive on that particular day or during the day, so I'm gonna put it into my nighttime routine. Love it, love it, love it. That's skincare. Oh, one more thing I've got to mention, haven't I? And that's the Pixi Glow Tonic. They're Glyconic 5% exfoliating toner love this product i've been using it for years two plus years repurchased many times at the moment i'm taking a break i haven't used it for about two weeks i start i keep i keep mentioning that i occasionally break out when the weather changes when it gets warmer um and i started to strip back some of the products that i was using just to try and isolate to see what it was that was reacting to my skin so at the moment i've stripped back this one um and i don't know my skin hasn't been too bad so i don't want to blame this because i know i've been using it for two plus years and it's never had this effect so i'm just starting to reintroduce it again now just a couple of times a week but it is fantastic i have pigmentation on my cheeks whether that it's all hormonal or age or sun damage i'm not sure but i definitely since started using this two years ago it has massively improved so i want to keep using it so i'm just sort of putting it back into my routine a little bit just occasionally and building up to using it every day like I used to and hopefully I can so I absolutely love that oh I must just give a mention to this one because although I don't use it religiously I probably reach for it a couple of times a month you know not a lot but sometimes your skin just needs to keep things simple so after washing my face cleansing all of that 
I just go in, if I just want something simple on my face at night, I just go in with Super Drugs. It's the natural radiant glycolic overnight pill. Again, I know I mentioned I'm trying to sort of take a step back from the glycolic, but I never found when I used this that I had any kind of sensitivity breakout from it the next day. So whether there's a different concentration, I do find this potentially could be a little bit of a higher percentage. But my skin likes this. It's nice and calm and settled in the morning. Like I say, I don't reach for it all the time but I'm easily on my third or fourth bottle. They're only dinky, so you can go through them quite quickly, but I would say a couple of times a month I reach for that, and I would miss it if it wasn't in my collection of goodies to you. So, a little bit more sort of skin and hair before we go on to makeup. I just wanted to mention Dove Soap. We all know about Dove, don't we? And I've been using their sensitive soap for years, absolutely donkey's years. I would go as far as to say 15 to 20 years. I love Dove soap. Some soaps are really drying. Obviously, I don't use those. I do occasionally reach for a simple soap, but the sort of the smell isn't, it's nice, but it's different. Whereas this is lovely and soapy smelling. Um, it's moisturizing. That's what I like about it. It's perfect. You can lather your skin up, wash all your bits, some bits more than others, and then I lather it up and it's a lovely to shave your legs because it gives a really soft, lather and i do find in this day and age a soap we should all be getting back to using a bit more soaps and less of the shower gels and the plastic bottles that we keep in our showers i do still have a shower gel you know it gets used in the family and occasionally i'll pick it up but the dove soap i absolutely love and have been using it for years and i just think at the moment perhaps soaps are going to be making a bit of a comeback because of the packaging side of things this is obviously cardboard that can be recycled and the soap just disappears to nothing next would be a may face mist a i don't think it's setting oh yeah no it does say makeup yeah no it's just setting it's not a priming is what i meant to say i use it as a setting mist and this is the barry m dewy finish i do like their matte finish one as well but i must say i reach for the dewy finish one more and repurchase many times i just like my skin to look dewy i don't get particularly oily through the day so i do if i do get natural oils i kind of like that look i definitely don't have dry skin um so a dewy finish is perfect for me and absolutely love it and have been using this for a couple of years. Also the Eucerin Acute Lip Balm, it's called, okay. Absolutely love this. I'm gonna absolutely love rather a lot in this video, I fancy. It's just really good. I do suffer a little bit from dry lips, but more so from the cracks on the side of my lips, which again, I've kind of talked about. This is the thing that is keeping it at bay at the moment. I've been using this religiously I purchased it towards the end of last year and have repurchased many of these and will continue to do so. It's fab. I don't think I've had a cracked lip, not in the side of my mouth here since. My lips have been a tiny bit dry occasionally, but then I just go in with this a bit more often. Bam, it's gone. Right, next would be some hair products. And this is the Lee Stafford Coco Loco, and it's just their coconut balm. I need to get another one. Well, close to getting another one. There still is a bit of product in there, if you can see, but it smells delicious. Coconutty, obviously. And it's just a little bit of the balm that you get on your fingertips and you just rub through all your tips of your hair just to smooth out and take away a little bit of the frizz or if there's any little dryness on the ends. And it's perfect. It's about 6 99 in boots. Yeah, I think it's pretty much boots that sell this particular range of Lee Stafford. And I love it and I've repurchased it many a time. So next I'm going to go in with some makeup and Hoola Benefit Bronzer. Absolutely love. Sorry, I'm not going to say that again. I really, really like this. Um, I That's what it usually comes like. I've hit pan. That is the bottom of the packaging, but it's all going around the outside. Then I had another one. I think I bought it in a Christmas gift. So it sort of came in all this bulky metal um, componentry that you get with the Benefit Christmas gifts sets. And so I picked out the hula from that set and stuck it because it's metal on the bottom of the pan here. So I stuck some nail varnish on the back of here and put it in there. So I've got two in there on the go. Absolutely love it. We'll continue to repurchase. I would really miss that if it wasn't in my makeup stash. Now this one is a foundation 
I love many a foundation. I found some real crackers actually over the last few months and I'm really enjoying them. But this is the one I've repurchased more often and this is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. Love it, it's SPF 20. I've got the shade Nude 21. And you literally, if you don't know about cushion, you've got your little powder thing there to, to use, which nobody uses. Um, and then that's your cushion in a sort of a spongy texture there. That's the foundation. Um, I love it. It's a light sheer foundation. It is buildable, buildable, but if you don't want anything too heavy, this is the one for you. And I, I can't, I would not want this in, I would not not want this in my collection, if you know what I mean. There's other ones I would reach for, but I would definitely always repurchase. Now this one I was quite surprised about, and although I don't think I'm quite cheating, because I haven't bought a third one of these, I'm still on my second, but it kind of proves to me how good it was for me to go out and get the other one. Let's just show you. So these are from Rimmel, they're the Kate Moss the Trios. So the first one I got was this one, which is the Coral, I think it's, yeah, 002 Coral Glow. So here, you can see they're well loved. They've been battered around in my makeup bag. So here you've got the Coral Blush. You have a matte bronzer and a lovely highlight, actually. So it's a little bit sort of a champagne-y highlight. But if you're sort of fair-skinned with me, like me, it's kind of nice and not too in your face. It's just subtle. But I've had this for ages and I haven't hit pan on any of them. <laughs> Probably because I've got other blushes, highlights and bronzers that I use. But love this. And the fact that it's all there in three, it's great for travel, chucking in your bag if you're gonna just freshen up for a night out or something straight from work. But because I loved that one so much, it made me go out and buy this highlighting palette that they brought out quite a while ago as well but I love this and sorry if you can't see but here you've got a bronzer a more golden highlight and at the top you've got a really pinky sort of highlight but I like to use it as a blush topper just sort of on the tops of my cheeks going back to where you highlight it's really flattering and lovely because it's just a really soft pink color the highlight is a more of a golden tone whereas that's more sort of champagne and lighter and then the bronzer is a bit of a shimmer going on in the bronzer so it's nice perhaps just to pop on top of your normal matte bronzer if you just want to sort of zhuzh things up a bit for a nighttime look or a holiday look but i really really like those there is another palette of these but it's more blush tones and more darker deeper roses and sort of ready shades, um, which I don't feel I need, but it does look nice, but I just wanted to show you those because for me to actually sort of repurchase bl brushes, blushes and bronzers, it's got to be pretty good, I thought. So um, I couldn't not mention my Lash Sensational Mascara from Maybelline. Love, love this. Used it for three years, probably. I love other mascaras. I will say I've got some favorites on the go at the moment which I, I'm sure I will repurchase. There was one particular one, the telescopic one from L'Oreal. Absolutely love it. But this one, I would always, again, want in my collection. And when I use this one up, I will repurchase another one. It's just lovely every day. You don't get any clumping. You just know that if you're, even if you're in a rush, you just want to put mascara on. If you reach for this one, you're not going to cock it up. You know, sometimes you do one, you think, great, quick, quick, quick. <clears throat> something goes wrong you put loads on or it goes all those like little spiky bitty bits on the ends of your lashes you don't get that with this it's perfect next i wanted to mention um some primers actually because i really love these and i think the packaging is really nice and dinky and sleek it's not too bulky um and they're from l'oreal and you've got the poor Define, refining, sorry. Yeah, you wouldn't want defining, would you? Pour refining, and then this is the mattifying one. And I'm kind of showing you these because this is the new one of the mattifying one that I've repurchased, and I'm getting a bit low on this one. But is there a difference between the two? I don't overly notice a difference with my makeup. It, it still looks lovely on top of it and lasts just as long. I think it's mainly because I don't have big pores so they don't particularly need refining whereas I tend to repurchase this one quicker the mattifying one because again we're in the summer now and I just want to keep everything from looking perhaps less glowy and dewy um, and I've repurchased this one because we're going on holiday so I wanted to take that one but they are perfect the packaging is sleek and great for travel and they really really look 
fantastic under your makeup. They do a really good job of priming, if you see what I mean. So I've got a um, concealer I wanted to give a shout out to, and that was Maybelline Fit Me. I love this one, I've repurchased heaps of these. I've got the range, or the number, one, zero, number 10. I don't think that's got a name, but it's quite fair, obviously. Um, yeah, I've got other concealers on the go at the moment that I like, but I, <laughs> I'm a bit of a three concealer girl. I kind of put different concealers in different areas of my face for the texture and the colour of them. I kind of know what I'm looking for, what it's concealing, if you know what I mean. But this one is definitely, definitely coming on holiday with me as well because it's a tiny bit of a darker shade than some of the other ones that I use. So this will be nice as if I do get a bit of a tan, I'm not looking to get one on my face, but if I do, um, this will sort of blend in nicely. Um, but I really, really love it and have repurchased many of those. Okay, we're on the home straight, guys. So this is an eyebrow pencil, and I'm gonna show you all three. This is from L'Oreal, the brow artiste. As you can see, I use it a lot. I keep, when they get kind of stubby and to this kind of size, I keep them because I think they're good for travel. <laughs> Not that that actually takes up a lot of room in your makeup bag, but I keep the smaller ones and I don't use them all the way up because I like to keep them for when I'm next traveling. So I get the shades Blonde, which is 02, and it's just perfect. I tend to use a little um, spoolie brush to do my eyebrows, but if you're on holiday, that little brush is, sorry, show you, that little brush there is adequate just to brush through your brows. You have a wax at one end, which I don't use because I use a clear eyebrow gel thing, but there you go. We well, all know what an eyebrow pencil looks like, don't you? But I really love that, and I've got my backup new one ready to go. Lip liner, lip liner. Where would we be without lip liner? I love a lip liner. This one's from Essence, and it's their Girl Next Door in 08. Is it Girl Next Door? Yeah, Girl Next Door, and I love it because it's just, if I put a little bit on me maybe, it's just a, it's neutrally nudey shade with a little bit of a hint of mauve, okay? And I think that's pretty much, or very close to my own lip shade. I like the texture of this one. It's quite creamy and soft and easy to apply. It's not too pointy and pencily and scratchy. It just smooths on like a cream and then I can just sort of blend it. And it goes with absolutely any lip color. I can use a red, nude, orangey shade, anything. Although you might think that's a little bit sort of mauvey, nudey, any shade of lipstick will blend with it beautifully. And it's just really nice because I can kind of overdraw a tiny little bit if I just want a little bit more shape and definition to make the bottom lip perhaps a little bit bigger or something without you know going daft about it and just kind of follow my outer lip line rather than your inner lip line if you know what I mean and it's beautiful I have repurchased many and I should check out Wilco's to see if they've got some more because I wouldn't want to be without that one and last but not least I wanted to mention a nail polish because I love this one from Rimmel. It's a super gel and it's the Kate Moss range again, and it's called Soul Session. And I'm just reading all the information for you. Sorry, I nearly choked then. It's 012 Soul Session. And you can see the kind of shade that it is. It's just very neutral. There's a hint of, well, I wouldn't say pink because it's not. When you, It looks pinkier in the bottle, but when you take it out, it's just a hint of nudie, a very, very pale brown, but brown's too strong a word. It's a good nail color if you're looking for nude, basically. It doesn't go all, you know, sometimes they go a bit streaky and you have to put a second coat on to kind of blend it on. This one, one coat, you're done. I wouldn't say it lasts for days and days and days, but then I don't particularly hold back on my nails, I'm full on, so they always sort of chip and all the rest of it. But I love that nail colour and have repurchased many a time. That's why it's in this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked my little ride or die products. Oh, I've forgotten a couple of things. That was really silly of me, wasn't it? I forgot three things, so I'm just gonna rattle them out really quickly. A hand cream from Palmer's, it's their coconut oil. I've mentioned it in many an empties, love it. Smells divine if you like coconuts, but in a 
creamy scent not in a sweet sickly scent and it's lovely it just moisturizes your hands like they're supposed to absolutely love it have repurchased heaps of those also mark hill sleek and straight spray this is what i use as a heat spray i need another one they're not they don't seem to be in store at the moment i put a tweet out to mark hill and they say it's still available and sent me a link to actually actually purchase it online, which I'm going to have to do, I think, because it's not in store. But love it as a heat spray. Love the packaging. Love the smell. It's just really lovely and it doesn't make your hair too wet. I've mentioned this many a time in the past, so I'm not going to rattle on about it again now. But it's just a lovely heat spray on day two, three hair when it's not wet and you just want to rejuge it. It doesn't make your hair really wet again, so you don't have to add more heat to dry it before you style it. Do you see what I mean? Also, I love this one from John Frieda and it's their Frizzies range and this is the serum. This is actually the original serum. They have quite a few variations of this, but it's exactly the same. I haven't noticed a difference in any of them because I've bought them in many a variety. This is again a newish one I've got and it's the original one. It's good for medium to thick hair, so I got that. And there's also some heat protection, anti-frizz, anti-humidity in there. So we all need a bit of that, don't we? So there you go, we're done. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, click the subscribe button, put a little like on this video. Let me know if you use any of these things and they're your ride or dies as well. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.